Vicodin, Oxycontin, Xanax. We've all heard these names. Legal drugs that are leading the surge in prescription drug abuse in this country. Now Pam Zekman reports that pharmacy workers are contributing to this tragic situation by stealing and selling these drugs illegally. At first, she took one painkiller a day after surgery. A year later, upwards to 100 pills a day. What? Yeah. How did you function on 100 a day? I couldn't function without it. One of her suppliers was a pharmacy worker selling painkillers without prescriptions. He was my drug dealer. Not surprising to this federal official. There's a price on the street for all these drugs, and, and, and there's a huge demand for these drugs. Despite uh, cost per pill know. of up to $20 for hydrocodone, $80 for Oxycontin, and $600 a pint for promethazine with codeine. State regulators disciplined 33 pharmacists and 163 pharmacy technicians over the last five years for diverting drugs for their own use or to sell on the street. Diversion by technicians is one of the major issues that state boards of pharmacy are facing today. Why? In part because Illinois, like many other states, does not check their criminal history before giving them a pharmacy tech license with access to prescription drugs. Anthony Sinise, caught selling marijuana, pled guilty in 2003 to drug possession and got probation. Then, in 2008, he received a pharmacy tech license. In 2014, while working at Sam's Club Pharmacy, cameras showed Sinise entering fake patients and real doctors' names to steal 60,000 hydrocodone pills. He pled guilty to identity theft and his license was suspended. I'm Pam Zekman from Channel 2. We're arrested for diverting drugs. No, 60,000 hydrocodone tablets? The state renewed Earl Newsom's pharmacy tech license despite his 2005 guilty plea to heroin possession with intent to deliver. Then in 2011, he was arrested for stealing 700,000 hydrocodone pills from far more drugs in Skokie. Estimated street value, about $7 million. Newsom pled guilty to a reduced charge. In 2012, the state revoked his pharmacy tech license. But the problem still is... In many cases, when the pharmacy discovers that the tech's been diverting, rather than prosecute it, they simply fire the technician. That technician then goes to another pharmacy, and there's no record of what that technician was engaged in. The National Board of Pharmacy says much of this could be avoided if Illinois passed a stronger screening law. Pam Zekman, CBS2 Investigators. All right, Pam, thank you.